Sometimes you've just got a party. But getting a group of friends together can be a real hassle as an adult because everyone's busy and have important things to do. So what better way to entice your friends to come over than with video games? Hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and here are my top 10 favorite party games for Linux. Let's do it. Sports Friends. Sports Friends is a pack of mini games that offers a little bit of something for everyone. Be it Barabari Bari Ball, Pole Riders, or my personal favorite, Johann Sebastian Joust. Joust is a game most people instantly get. Move around the room with your controller held as still as possible. Quick movements will eliminate you from the round. Plus, knocking other players' controllers will eliminate them from the game. While I've had issues pairing the PlayStation Move controllers with some Bluetooth devices, they're required to play JS Joust, it's worth the effort. Sports Friends is a fabulous game that deserves all the adulation it can get. Push Me, Pull You Push Me, Pull You is a title that is hard to explain. You share a controller with your teammate, and each of the analog sticks controls one of the heads of your, uh, how do we put this, cat-dog-like human monstrosity? The goal is to get the ball to your side of the court until you win. With its weird, quirky controls, the need for communication, and its quirky presentation, it's a ton of fun for the four players involved, as well as an audience watching the game. Tricky Towers Tricky Towers is a Tetris-inspired competitive puzzle game that asks the important question, what would happen if there was physics in a game of Tetris? The blocks come to a precarious rest on their neighbor tiles, and every once in a while your foes may get a power-up or two that can impede you. It's a fun game that I had a chance to play with my friends at System76 last year, and we had an absolute blast. Since just about everyone knows how to play Tetris, I'd recommend Tricky Towers for any experience level. Gang Beasts Gang Beasts is a co-op-like brawler. If you don't know what that means, essentially the controls are awkward and imprecise by design. The controls push you into a mad frenzy of button mashing and competition that becomes a fierce slapstick joyride. Your goal is to ring out your opponents, and from beginning to end, Gang Beast finds comedy in its multiplayer antics. And the odd controls may just be accessible to non-gamers too. Towerfall Ascension Towerfall Ascension is competitive to its core, requiring quick reflexes and a flair for style. Up to four players are equipped with bows and arrows and are left to duke it out. Advanced techniques such as dodging, snatching arrows mid-flight, and the elusive super jump make for a nail-biting experience. And instant replays give the victor hard evidence to present while gloating. I'd say Towerfall Ascension is a party game for the more serious and competitive gamer. Speedrunners Speedrunners is a side-scrolling racing platformer featuring a cast of quirky superheroes that duke it out to finish first. The controls are pretty simple. You can run in any direction with the control stick, and you can jump, glide, grapple, and attack. Mario Kart-like power-ups give you the ability to boost yourself and hinder your opponents. Lots of laughs have been had between me and my friends while playing Speedrunners, and I'd recommend Speedrunners to anyone who's moderately familiar with gaming. Pac-Man 256 Pac-Man 256 is one of those games that just feels good to play. It's a Pac-Man flavored take on the endless runner genre. Four players get the chance to pilot their own way through a maze, collecting as many pellets and power-ups as possible. The goal of the game is to get a high score, and you can do so through eating unbroken strings of pellets, which gives you a score multiplier. With its simplicity and instant gratification, Pac-Man 256 is a great game for even the most inexperienced of gamers. Lethal League Lethal League is another brawler-style game for up to four players. You're not attacking other players directly. Instead, it's an unlikely mix of Pong and baseball. When your player hits the ball, it takes on your team's color. If the ball hits anyone not on your team, they're KO'd. Teams can take on any configuration free-for-alls, 2v2, 3v1, you name it. The title's controls are a bit more advanced, and I'd say skilled and experienced gamers are likely to get the most enjoyment out of Lethal League. Hidden in Plain Sight Hidden in Plain Sight is a title I first played on the Ouya way back in the day. There are a bunch of good minigames here, my favorites being Death Race and Ninja Party. 
In Death Race, you control a character as well as a crosshair. On screen, there are a ton of characters, and up to four players controlling them. The other characters are controlled by the computer. The goal of the game is to get to the end of the racetrack. You must find your character, move it to the end zone, all the while blending in, because if you stand out too much, other players can shoot your guy, and then you can't win. <laughs> in Ninja Party, there are a ton of computer-controlled ninjas on screen. You need to find your ninja and touch every statue in order to win, all while trying to sleuth out the other player's ninjas and assassinating them. I'd say Hidden in Plain Sight is a game best played with a group of moderately experienced gamers. Jackbox Party Pack 4 The Jackbox Party Pack 4 features a slew of minigames that keep the energy of any party light and fun. My favorite game in the pack is Fibbage, which plays much like Cards Against Humanity with a dash of Mad Libs thrown in. If you're not familiar with Jackbox games, they're the guys who did You Don't Know Jack. And all these games are a ton of fun. Anyone can drop in and play just by whipping out their smartphone and typing in the code on their screen in the web browser. It's a really clever way to get everyone involved and having fun. All with a low barrier to entry. Plus, it just works. Well, that's my list of my favorite Linux party games. What do you think? Did I miss one? Leave me a comment and let me know, or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. If you believe in the work that I do, consider supporting the show over on Patreon or LibrePay. You can also buy a t-shirt if you want. But whatever you do, whether it's hitting that like button or sharing this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And thanks for watching.